5,000! Yes! That achievement unlocked 5,000 kilometres. Alright, so we're sitting on 4,958 kilometres. <clears throat> as close to 5,000 as makes no difference to me and we will click over that 5,000 mark on this ride anyway. Alrighty, so... I've been riding only since March this year. And it is now mid-August. And in that time, I've done just about 5,000 kilometres, which I would consider that a reasonable achievement. Now, I've often thought about doing my thoughts and reviews on this bike and how I feel about it as my first bike. Now, I can honestly say I like it. The first acknowledgement I will make about this bike is, yes, it is slow. Um, around town like this, you're not going to notice that. But once you start really trying to travel on it, it becomes an issue. Uh, anything above 80 k's an hour, what the hell is this car doing? Anything over 80 k's an hour, and this little bike really does struggle. But I didn't buy this bike because I wanted to go fast. I bought this bike because I wanted to have fun. And you know what? I do. I have a lot of fun uh, riding this bike. I would not have managed 5,000 kilometers if I didn't enjoy riding this little stupid little small powered fun, amusing bike. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and quote specs at y'all. I mean, I can't be Google for you, but... This is a one... What the shit are you doing? Oh, mate. For what it is, this bike is a lot of fun. I don't know what to say beyond that. It is just fun, and... I don't know. I just... Honestly, I don't want to do a review. I don't think that my opinion matters so much. If I like a bike, that's it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It is slow. But I would rather be able to ride this bike flat chat and have fun than to ride something that I'm too afraid to twist the throttle on. And this is the road I decided to take the bike up today. <coughs> um, this road will turn into gravel and it is a plantation road so I reasonably expect to see a, a logging truck or two. But I mainly just wanted an excuse to come out into a forest back road uh, So I could have a chat without worrying so much about the wind noise. But I guess what I'd like to say about the Honda CB125F is... I can't even say that. I want to do this review on this bike, but I, I just don't know what to say about it. 
I, I really don't. I really like this bike and it suits my purposes. It can be a frustratingly slow bike, but... For me, it was a good first bike, but I also would have been just as happy on a Kawasaki Ninja 650. You know, if I had the money for it and a garage to park it, you bet your ass I'd be on that thing right now. Part of the reason I like this bike though, is it is small enough for me to store under the house, which is, you know, it, it, it's, I don't think you could fit any bigger bike under there, that's for sure. Um, but that's a stupid fucking reason, it really is. Like, this is what I mean, I, I don't know what to say about this bike. I didn't buy the bike because I wanted to go racing. I didn't want to try and straighten the road in the twisty mountains. I bought it specifically for roads like we're on now. Um, I'm not afraid of riding on gravel on this bike. I've done a lot of gravel riding actually. I've, I've, in that 5,000 kilometres it hasn't all just been up and down the freeway the whole time. There we go. So, riding along gravel roads like this, it's actually what I prefer doing, and you might argue that I'd be better off with a trail bike. Why didn't I just buy the Honda Trail 125? Um, well, because it's twice the price of this bike. Uh, I specifically bought this bike because it's one of the cheapest things on the market. And it got me up on two wheels a lot sooner than if I had been saving my money for a, a bigger and longer bike. A bigger and longer bike. Bigger and faster bike. And the thing about getting your bike license uh, in Victoria is it is expensive. It's $560 to do my two-day learner course. And you have to hold that permit for a minimum of three months. Now I've held it for about four and a half. It's $220 to book in a check ride, which is like a supervised group ride where they just critique your riding skill, but it is necessary. And they make you wait a whole month between doing that check ride and then going for your license test. Now incidentally, I've booked in my license test uh, for the beginning of September. That cost an extra $250. So, just for the permits alone, 560, plus 220, plus 250. And that's without considering your bike, your gear, your insurance. It is really expensive to get up on two wheels these days. And that's why one of the cheapest bikes on the market really appealed to me. coming up behind me which is why I'm um, just trying to get ahead a little bit. This bike behaves itself really well on this gravel. Um, 
I actually uh, I went for a ride the other week, or maybe two weeks ago now. And it was along Grand Ridge Road, which I've done one or two videos uh, doing sections of that road before. And it turns gravel in the same manner as this road as well, except it had been wet and cold and again that was a logging route as well so these big trucks had churned the surface of that road up into mud and it was a very very challenging ride um, but this bike handled it with gutso I, I didn't come off at all uh, I, I didn't bother to have the gopro on in fact i haven't I haven't bothered doing uh, any motor vlogging uh, for quite a while because I'm a much better rider when I'm not worried about what I have to say to the microphone or, or where the GoPro is pointing. But I thought I'm coming up to 5,000 kilometers riding experience on this bike and incidentally this video will mark the 500th video I've uploaded to my channel so I, I wanted to do something a bit uh, I want to say exciting but that's not really up to me to decide but a bit more eventful and my 5,000 kilometer owner's review isn't a review at all, like I really want to do it, I just I, I don't know what I can say about why I like this bike but what I can do is take you with me while I ride and you can see for yourself the faith that I put in this bike to take me on adventures like this See, in my mind's eye, you don't need a big adventure bike to have a big adventure. Last time I came up here, this section of road was um, closed off. Let's have a talk about what makes this bike such a good learner bike. The ability to do U-turns on gravel. On wet gravel. Alright, we've got 10 kilometres to go before we hit uh, the 5,000 kilometre mark and I fully expect still to be stuck in the middle of the mountains when that happens. You can lose half a day up here without seeing a sealed road. Now where do I go? I'll follow it around I think. You know, I can't actually tell you for the life of me what road I'm on right now, or really even which direction I'm headed. And that's what I love about riding on two wheels. is the adventure. Picking a road because it looks like a direction you want to go in that day. And then just doing it. Don't bother looking at a map. Figure it out when you get there. 
and there's absolutely no shame in slowing right down on a corner on a road you're not familiar with because getting home in one piece is the most important part everyone will tell you that Alright, two kilometres to go. This is not the road I really wanted to be on. I wanted to be able to stop and say, look, 5,000 kilometres on the dot. But look at this road. There is nowhere to safely stop just to look at the uh, odometer. We're sitting on 4,998. It's not a good road to be getting distracted about the odometer on. But any moment now we're going to click over to 5,000. And I'm going to miss it because I'm watching where I'm pointing the bike. 4,999, 5,000! Yes! That Achievement unlocked, 5,000 kilometres, and what a road to hit that milestone on. What an amazing little bike to be able to have the versatility to take me on to such different kind of adventures in one ride. And it just loves it. from dirt and gravel to twisty mountain roads this is the bike that can do everything except get me a speeding ticket touch wood I mean let's face it it's still quick enough to uh, break the speed limit around town but you're not going to get one on the freeway that's for sure But this is what riding's all about, isn't it? I don't think there's anyone who is a genuine rider who's going to say, oh, I prefer the straight roads. Freeway, that's it for me. Nah. It's getting out on these tight technical challenging road where you really get to experience that thrill of being on two wheels and even on 125cc a little beginner bike you can just have so much fun and that that is what it's all about for me it's not about going as fast as I can getting the knee down it's that joy of bike 
riding just for the thrill of it and just for the fun. Is there a greater moment? I don't think so.